always loved writing and but I think the first time I really found you know the passion and the the enjoyment of riding was when I started doing mountain biking with my friends and you know just spending time in the forest building jumps when we were kids and you know taking photos when we were doing the jumps and just you know spending the whole day in the forest and you know it didn't feel like you were training or I mean we weren't training but you know it just felt like like fun and I think that's stuck with me for a long time that I really enjoy to just have fun on the bike and just, you know, use it to play and and train at the same time. I think at one point I I realized that, you know, that that I was uh, good at the races in the in the kids uh, categories and and that and I f I think I I always wanted to become a pro professional and I wanted to, you know, live, for, live from cycling and, but I, at that time I had no idea what, actually what, it, how much it takes to, to reach that point and, you know, to get to, to the level where I'm not, I couldn't really, you know, I dream, I dreamed of it, but it wasn't like, I had no idea what it, what it took. So I'm pretty, you know, happy to be where I am now. Yeah, I mean, the, the junior days were, were quite nice, you know. It was not so stressful, not so, you know, I didn't worry too much about, I just, you know, I just had fun with racing and fortunately I was really good at it and I, at that time it was it was quite easy to to win races and you know it it was just uh, about you know enjoying where you know now it's a uh, it's a bit different it's more it's a lot harder to win a race now than it was in juniors but i certainly you know the the results i made back then had set set me up really nicely for my professional career and it's given me a lot of opportunity to to be in big teams and to have the best support and i would say the most um in, like the most the race i remember the clearest is definitely winning my first world title in 2014 it was a it was a pretty special moment i mean for sure there was something but i didn't really you know I didn't really think too much of that. I, I came and I got a lot of experience from racing the Olympics, hoping that that I was gonna, you know, compete for the for the medals at Tokyo Olympics, but unfortunately I didn't I didn't go to Tokyo, so it was uh, not part of my plan, but sometimes you can't always control what happens, so then I it set me up pretty nicely for for this European champs instead, so A lot of athletes try their whole career to win a World Cup and I I won at my first race, I won the first one I, I ever raced. So, I mean, it was really unexpected and it, it felt, you know, like a bit unreal, to be honest. Like, uh, I was not prepared to win. I, I knew I was in a good shape, but I was never expecting to, to win a race. and. Uh, it's a little bit similar to, to winning the junior races and like it's 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 been putting a bit of pressure on me now after I won because but also it also made me you know realize that I know I have I'm capable of winning and I'm not so stressed about it will happen again uh, at some point but I know that I have the, the talent to win uh, on elite level as well so that was just a nice confirmation. When I was racing juniors, everything was always easy, easy, you know, winning race. And then I went to the under 23s and I had also a really good year in the beginning. And then after that, I started having, you know, some crashes, injuries. And, you know, I had a few years where I was really struggling with injuries and, 
struggling to you know to feel good on the races and I mean it was not really fun for me anymore at that time like I really struggled um, and I think that's just for sure been the the toughest part for me. As soon as I got to know that I wasn't going to to the Olympics I you know went to set some new goals instead and I chose you know that I wanted to to race the Europeans and I wanted to prepare really well for it so the last four four or five weeks I've been in uh, Girona in Spain just training uh, for Europeans and it's been quite hot here so I've been doing a lot of you know heat training I, I know it's really hot in, in Novi Sad as well so I think I'm I'm well prepared for that. Like on championships, it's always difficult to set a to set a goal or, or say I want to be calm, but for sure I'm I'm racing to win, and I I know I want to to win the Europeans, but I also know that there is a lot of other people that also wants to win. So, but um, I'm definitely I'm, I'm going to to ride for the win. There was two races, like one week, and then the next week was another race. And I went the first week, and it was, yeah, I think, yeah, I think the first week it was super bad weather, and like really, you know, gray. And I thought, oh, it's not some, not such a nice place, and it was like everything looked a bit uh, like just gray and boring in a way. And then. The next week we went back to do the same race and it was really good weather, sun was out and it was a complete different city. Like so many people were, you know, along the, the river and I mean, there was so much life and it was a complete different, it felt like a complete different place. So I, I have one like a infinity bike, like on my, on my wrist, but that's, that's it. For sure, I, I always dreamed, dreamed about winning a, a World Cup, but always uh, another dream of mine has been, you know, becoming elite world champion as well. You know, having the rainbow jersey. So it's definitely a big, big dream of mine to, to ride in the rainbow jersey once again in my career sometime. Hello everyone, please come to Novi Sad and support us racing the European Championships from the 12th to 15th of August. It's going to be a nice show. See you there.